Hi everyone, I'm Mike Anderson, instructor with Eco Training, and welcome to another edition of Flora Fridays. Today we're going to be focusing on impala lilies. Okay, so here we have a, an impala lily, a beautiful plant. Scientific name, if you're interested, is Adenium multiflorum. And as you can see, it's got the most incredible flowers, and these flower in winter. From about June up until about September, you'll have these flowering when nothing else has any color left, and it's incredible. So you can see it's got these white parts that the little uh, florets in there which uh, which the bees are attracted to other insects as well uh, so it's really really cool and one of the amazing uses of this plant is that it's often used as a poison or at least in the poison uh, substitutes for for poison arrows um, in fact the petty culture in in south africa um, the chiefs used to have poison tasters who would taste their food uh, before they ate it because of this kind of plant which they would sometimes rivals would poison it anyway you can also add it to the arrow tips and all you have to do is just penetrate the skin of the animal and it will become weakened and you can catch it easily it won't necessarily kill the animal outright but it would mean that you wouldn't need to literally kill the animal you could just use a bow and arrow pierce the skin and you could chase it down and then you'd be able to find food so very important for the early bush cultures in southern africa so the plant is not difficult to identify in the winter, as you can probably tell, because of these incredibly showy, bright flowers, which is actually why they're sought after all over the world, and you find them almost everywhere. But the, the way to identify it is by looking at these uh, awesome trunks. You see they're very waxy and thick and, and very gray in color. And in the summertime, when everything is green, uh, the leaves are large, uh, paddle-shaped, waxy leaves. Uh, which grow basically exactly where uh, these flowers grow out of. So you'll find in the winter that the leaves fall off and the flowers grow from exactly uh, where the leaves were. So very, very cool. If you like that video and want to see more like it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell as well for notifications.